Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. And this one has been long awaited, I guess, maybe. Because, like, people are asking for a player model tutorial. So, I gotta go quick. Because I don't feel like editing a lot right now. So, I'm just gonna try to do this in one take. So, first, open Blender. Um, click away from the screen. Click A. Then click, like, the, the delete key on your keyboard. And then go to add mesh uh, cube and then go down to this um, thing add modifier subdivision surface and then you can change how like detailed you want it to be and then uh, kind of scale it to like a body type shape like that and then control C control V Use your scale tool, scale it down with this like outer white line just a little bit, and then use the move tool and move it forward just a tad bit until it pokes out like that so it looks like a belly. And then use the outside one, control C, control V. Uh, use a scale, um, actually no, use move, move it up to where the head would be. Then scale it down like to a circle. And then like that. That looks good. And then uh, control C, control V. Move it up to like your arm. Make it as skinny as you want. Then move it out a little bit. Control C, control V. And then Control C, Control V again, and then move it to where the hand would be. And then scale it to like a circle or however, whatever shape you want your hand to be. And then uh, shift click. So hold shift and click these and then Control C, Control V. Use the rotate tool. Look from like top and then hold Control and rotate it. Oops. Hold control and rotate it, rotate it all the way. Okay, and then once you rotate it, move it over here. And now you're done with the modeling part. And then go to edit mode, click out, and then click add. Oh, oh wait, no, 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 go to object mode, click add, add armature, and then add, go to edit mode, and then click this up here where this little thing is like that and now you can see better so select your bone so this is a bone it's going to be like your joints and stuff so put this to where you want the bottom of your um, player model to touch the ground you don't want it to be at the bottom because i don't mess with things so make it about like here and then click this circle click e just tap e and then move your mouse up and then click to let go and if you look from the side it'll be all wonky so just fix that make it go to your neck and then click E again, make it go to the top of your head. And then line it up, of course. And then choose this one right here. Make it go to your arm. And then line it up. And then make this one go to that part of your arm. And then click E again, make it go to the, your wrist and then the edge of your hand. Once you've done that, then go to the other side, click this, click E, drag it there, click E again, and then click E again. And then drag it to the end. Okay, now click this button, click F2, name it, um, name it chest. It doesn't matter how you spell it, just name it the thing as I'm naming it so you understand what part it is. Name this neck. Um, name this head. And then now we're getting to more difficult parts. 
so this is the front, right? So you're looking from his perspective, so this is the left. So it would be his left, and you just click F2, name it, um, shoulder dot L, name this one shoulder dot R, and then name this one upper arm dot L, sorry, dot L, I spelled it wrong. AMD arm and then four arm dot L Oops. and then hand dot L then go over here. We already named this shoulder if you didn't do that, name it. And then upper arm oh my god i can't spell a r m dot r forearm dot r and hand dot r now you're done with most of it click this button up here again then go to object mode and in your uh thing here choose all of your objects not armature just shift click the one at the bottom and then the one at the, the cube at the top do not choose armature and um after you selected all those click hold control and click armature so you need to click armature last just know that that's important and then you click control p then tap or er, click with automatic weights and now you see it's all in armature and then you have all your meshes and then you bo your bones so see how it goes to armature chest neck shoulders go down to like hands so that all makes sense and now all you have to do is click file export fbx and then just choose where you want it to go and choose my my unity tutorial folder and then i'm gonna name it you, you can name it whatever i'm just gonna name it player model and then click export and then click export fbx and then give it a second and then go over to your files where you, where you saved it then go to unity and in unity go to your uh go to resources in your in your assets go to resources um resources photon vr click your player double tap your player uh see i already did a tutorial but i messed it up so just pretend this is your um the original character or whatever your character was before and then what you're gonna do drag in your new player model so you can drag it anywhere you can drag it in models or just this folder it doesn't matter <clears throat> and then drag this in and since it's made from blender it's gonna be super big so choose your new player uh, wherever that is your new player scale it down a bunch Use the white one, not any of these colors. Use the white one because, you know, you don't want it to be all weird. So drag it about where your old player model was. And then scale it how you want it. Hold control while you're turning so you get a perfect angle when you turn it okay that looks good I think but one thing I noticed it's not actually backwards wait is it backwards no it's not backwards okay now once you have it all lined up delete your old one I'll put yeah I'll I'll put another screenshot of what to delete if you have the original one, but just delete your old one and drag your new one into head. Not speaker, not head cosmetics, drag it into head. And open it up. And these are your meshes. You can change their um, texture. So I can go like to textures. I could put like a fur texture on it. I'm gonna do that.
Okay, um, I added all the textures, but I forgot to add this little, like, see how there's, like, this little, what do you call it? This part, like, the belly. You, well, you can add a belly on, on, like, like a, like a face. Like, do the same thing you did with the body, but on the face, or on the head. Um, sometimes you forget after out <laughs> so. Uh, open armature, chest, shoulder L and R, upper arm L and R, forearm L and R, and then you have your hands. Don't open hands, uh, the hand end is not the right one, just hands. Uh, choose your hand L, and in this, in the, um, on my Discord, in this, there's a scripts area. Okay, you'll see Fast IK Fabric right here, and this is uh, the script. Just click download. I'll download it for the video. Just find the script in your downloads folder. Once you have the script, uh, go to your scripts folder in Unity and just drag it in. I already have it. Um, put it on hand L and then go to hand R and drag it on there. So what you're gonna do, I'm gonna do hand L first. So target, scroll down where it says left hand, drag that in target. And then above left hand, uh, it should say upper arm. Do that for pull. And then hand R will be right hand for target. And then upper arm R for pull. Then click control S, uh, go into your main scene. Uh, and then you can play and see if it works. And as you can see, I can move my hands. But yeah, it works. So yeah, tell me what tutorial you want next. If you have any problems, tell me in the comments and I'll try to help you. And see you next time.